Protocol 9. You may say that there will be an armed rising against us if our plans are discovered prematurely. But in anticipation of this, we have such a terrorizing maneuver in the West that even the bravest soul will shudder. Underground passages will be established by that time in all capitals, from where they can be exploded, together with all their institutions and national documents. Frustrated commuters across the country may welcome tech titan Elon Musk's latest big disruptive idea. How about this? Underground tunnels. Underground passages. Underground tunnels to beat traffic congestion. Last night in Los Angeles, he unveiled the first tunnel in what he hopes will become a network of underground highways, he says. Now, this initial stretch is only for tests and won't be used by the public. It runs between the headquarters of Musk's SpaceX company and a parking lot behind a closed business a little more than a mile away. From where they can be exploded. When Musk took me for a ride the other day, it was an eye-opening four-minute journey. You can go ahead, I think. Oh, How fast is this? <laughs> this is still slow. We're this doing, is we're slow? only doing 20, 28, 30 miles oh an God, hour. Oh my we'll God, oh my God, oh my God. We'll speed up after we get around the corner. This isn't just any tunnel. We can, go, oh. we can get 100, no problem, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it easy for you. <laughs> it's Elon Musk tunnel. And to understand why we're speeding through it, you need to go back a couple of years when he decided he had had enough of Los Angeles traffic gridlock. Either we try something new or we will be stuck in traffic hell for the rest of our lives. I, I started thinking, well, maybe this could be underground. Underground passages. This is the underground network he envisions. Electric cars using street level elevators to drop down into a series of tunnels. Autonomous technology in the cars ensure that they don't run into each other, despite going speeds over 125 miles an hour. Tunnels are, the, in my view, the only solution to urban congestion because we have a 2D road network and we have buildings in 3D. And everyone wants to pile out of those buildings and into those buildings at the same time. Obviously, you're going to have a traffic jam. No one was building such a system, so Musk formed the amusingly named Boring Company and started building it himself. He hired Steve Davis to be the company's new president. Because, Steve, you're an engineer at SpaceX. You've been there for? 15 years. So when Elon came to you and said, I have this idea to do what? What did he say to you? Uh, go dig a hole. He had no experience doing tunnels and said, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. See, that didn't give you pause. Learn from scratch. Ah. So probably the first day you won't be the best at it, but then you'll, you'll get better. About a year ago, that company started digging what has become today's 1.2 mile long test tunnel. It's in Hawthorne near Los Angeles. Unless we can make tunnel digging at least 10 times cheaper, then digging tunnels will not be an effective means of alleviating traffic. It'll just cost too much. These are tunnel reinforcing segments. Musk's vision depends on him being able to do it all, faster and cheaper than current industry standards. While modern subway tunnels in Los Angeles cost around $900 million per mile, he says he built this for about $10 million. One way he saved money, he literally made it dirt cheap. When digging tunnels, it's quite expensive to have all this dirt trucked off somewhere. And we're like, well, why don't we try to use that dirt for something useful? So we are creating bricks on site. Um, and you can pick them up for and they're very cheap, 10 cents a brick. So all of these bricks yeah. came out of the tunnel? Yes. But speeding up the process was also a cause for concern. The city of Hawthorne granted Musk an exemption from typical environmental impact reviews required under California law. And in nearby neighborhoods where the tunnel runs, some residents told us they never even heard about the project until it was almost finished. And some members of the community seem to feel that they didn't really have input into that decision. We actually um, sent letters to everyone. I think that there's normally like a, a radius that you have to inform people. We doubled that radius and inform people. You know, and you think in any situation, there's gonna be a few percentage of people that grumble. There was also grumbling from another area, the wealthier Los Angeles neighborhood of Brentwood which is nearby must propose second test tunnel along busy Sepulveda Boulevard. Community groups sued the city of Los Angeles for also granting an environmental review waiver there. 
In August, Musk announced he was no longer building that tunnel. But there's some like retired lawyers in Brentwood that all they do is sue, like literally, they just automatically sue. It's like a hobby. But those lawsuits sort of shut it down in Sepulveda, did it not? No. Shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. Shut it down, they're going no. GDL, they're going no. Shut it down, they're going no. GDL, they're going no. They shut it down in Sepulveda, did it not? No. We decided that uh, another test tunnel isn't really needed. I am not phased by lawsuits. You can't go off the tracks, right? No, That's what you're saying? you cannot go off the tracks. At first glance, the tunnel is a bit daunting. It's only 12 feet in diameter, so it's much more claustrophobic than most transportation tunnels. We'll, we'll, we'll be able to go like 150 miles an hour if we want. If you're going that fast, what's to prevent it from crashing into another car ahead of you? That's what I worry about that. Uh, because the autopilot has radar and cameras that uh, will automatically slow you down before you uh, impact another car. That you'd only be allowed to go through the tunnel on autopilot. At the end of our four-minute adventure, that the verdict? <laughs> that was scary, but that was kind of cool. <sighs> and by the time we started up the elevator that returned us to the surface... And it'll be faster in practice. This is just going slow because it's uh, early days. I don't want to go any faster than what we just did. No, thank you. And when it was all over, it was yes. easier to see how this proof-of-concept tunnel yes, could actually be a preview of the world to come. At this point, I'm confident this can revolutionize cities and get rid of uh, soul-destroying traffic. Underground passages will be established by that time in all capitals, from where they can be exploded, together with all their institutions and national documents. Benny Peled, former chief of the Israeli Air Force and architect of the IAF's stunning defeat of the Egyptian and Syrian Air Forces in the Six-Day War, offered his services. Sharon recalls, Peled was always very positive, but critical and cautious at the same time. He always had a very sharp mind. He said to me, listen, when you construct a bridge, you always leave a weak spot where you can destroy the bridge with one single stick of dynamite if necessary. Maybe we are making a mistake. So don't forget, in case this program is unsuccessful, you need to get out.